Welcome back to Summit Sunrise on TV8 Summit. I'm Ashley, and we are here with Debbie and Sherry to talk about a really important public health issue um, and something that I'm sure has touched many of our lives. Debbie and Sherry, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you are both with uh, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Can you tell me a little bit about the organization and your roles? Sure. Well, I'm the area director for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, or AFSP for short. And I help support um, three states. And Debbie is the Out of the Darkness Community Watch Chair here for Summit County. Excellent. Um, and how did you guys get involved with the organization? Um, I lost my brother to suicide in March of 2012. Uh, six months later, I participated in the first uh, the South Metro Out of the Darkness Community Walk. Um, I wanted to know who are these survivors? How do you survive something like this? I wanted to, to meet these people. And I have to say it was the most healing, heartwarming event that I've ever participated in. After participating in three walks, I approached Sherry and said, you know, we need this in Summit County. How do I get one started up here? And Sherry's been great helping me, and here we are. And here we are. Um, and you're doing the event. Um, tell me a little bit more about the Out of the Darkness Community Walk. Um, the date and sort of what it involves. It's being held at the Outlets at Pavilion in Silverthorne, uh, Sunday, September 13th. Uh, registration starts at 10 a.m. You can register online ahead of time. We really appreciate any online registration helps us with our numbers. Uh, the walk will start at 11 o'clock. We'll be walking three or five miles along the beautiful Blue River Trail. And it is absolutely beautiful. So it, it it's is. a perfect spot for a walk like this. It is. Uh, we welcome uh, any walkers, you know, we, we encourage fundraising, and that's our goal, but walkers are just to, uh, encouraged just to participate and just to, to be there and see the event. Excellent. Um, and let's talk a little bit um, about the prevalence of suicide uh, in Colorado, because I know this is an entire uh, countrywide organization, but um, you're part of the Colorado chapter specifically. Yeah, unfortunately, Colorado is one of the top 10 states in the country for raised by death of suicide. And in 2013, which was the last year we had statistics through um, the Colorado Department of Health, is um, it was one of the highest years. We had over 1,000 deaths by suicide. And um, unfortunately, nationally that year, we had over 41,000 lives lost. So it is a very serious public health issue. But you know, in the last five years, I've been very inspired about the things that have been taking place and how many people are becoming more aware and recognizing how important this cause is and doing things to fight suicide. And I know part of this is kind of overcoming the stigma surrounded that, uh, with talking about it. Actually, that's it a is. huge part of it. I want to help end the stigma that keeps people from discussing suicide. Um, I want people and everyone to know that suicide is preventable with education, understanding, and awareness. The more people know about the, what signs to look for, the more people we can help. And the more we talk about this, the less shame people will feel about reaching out for help. Absolutely. And so what is your goal uh, with a specific event, the community at the Out of the Darkness Walk? Just to get up here and, and let people in Summit County know who the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention is. And uh, just to, to know that there, there are ways and there, there is help. The Summit County has, lost, has had a significant loss in the last year um, because of this. And uh, we just want people to know we're here and we're working on this. Awesome, and I think it's great what you're doing. Who is this event for? Um, I mean, is it for, for anybody? Actually, it is for anybody, but especially those that might have had loss to suicide, might be struggling with suicidal thoughts themselves, or have depression or other mental health issues that run in their family, or if they have friends. Really, it, you know, anyone that supports them. So if you think about it, we've all been impacted in some way, shape, or form. So although it's a fundraiser, the walk itself is free. Um, the Out of the Darkness Community Walks are going to be over 350 of them nationwide. Um, and the funds raised help drive critical research, which is so important to creating um, education awareness and programs and, and advocating. Um, so it's, you know, it's truly grassroots volunteerism. Um, but if somebody's not comfortable fundraising, it's okay. They're still welcome to come. We would love anyone to come and support the cause. Um, and I know you mentioned registration, Debbie. Um, how can people register? What's your website, and where pe can people find more um, information? Go to outofthedarkness.org, find the Colorado Walks, click on Colorado, then go to Summit County, and it's easy to register. You can register as an individual, a volunteer, or a team. Okay. What a really fantastic event. Um, and I know there's also a helpline if anyone's watching. 
um, and they're concerned about anyone, what is that helpline? So thank you for pointing that out. It's really important that everybody understands that it's a, uh, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. The phone number is 1-800-273-TALK, which is like, what's that number? So it's 1-800-273-8255. Cool. Okay, excellent. Well, Debbie and Sherry, thank you so thank much. You. Um, thank you. The event, you. once again, is on September 13th. Um, definitely everyone is welcome to be a part of it. We'll be right back with more Summit Sunrise right after this.